welcome back <coughs> in the last um, video I was talking about uh, the menu and uh, I said I was going to show you something what was what I wanted to show you was um, the um, orientation of the menu because you can you know sometime when you get some websites you see that the menu was is actually placed which actually I think I can do I can show you how to do that here as well so um, you can decide to place the menu uh, vertically or horizontal oh, sorry horizontal <laughs> oh my god how can horizontal be difficult to pronounce for me I think it's because I'm hungry actually today is my birthday and uh, yeah I know I'm crazy you know I'm creating videos on my birthday but uh, I haven't even eaten anything so anyway it's only 11 in the morning so I'll be good <laughs> um, yeah so uh, if you click on the menu um, if you can't click on it just like I explained to you you can always go here and just select what you want just uh, select the menu and uh, you want to look for the orientation so you can either have it vertical or horizontal can you see it's good now I've placed the or, or, uh, or what what oh my god I'm hungry horizontal I mean I've placed it horizontally here but um, so you can you know decide to have it horizontal and everything will be laid out horizontally along the uh, website but uh, in this case I've chose to make it vertical you can change the width width to any you know you can just put the uh, pixel value just like the height is 16 pixel here uh, the path separator you can change it, it you know uh, dynamic um, <coughs> I'm going to be covering this um very soon about um maybe I should actually look into that right now okay let me do that so um you for example because our uh, um webs uh, we've chose to use a static static means it means that um when we click on a menu say for example we have a sub menu if we click on the if you want to say all right let me start again now we have three pages let me add a fourth page let me add a fourth page uh, add the item up from page four when you had if when you had a page do you know the next thing you do don't ever forget that you want to you want to go this is page four what you want to do is it will not go to your sitemap automatically you have to go to your sitemap and add it there automatically so so how do I make page 4 is sub menu of page 3 let's do something let me add sitemap node Can you see what I just did? I just made. I'm not going to close this. I'm going to open this so that I can close it here at the bottom. So, side map note. So that means if I place any sitemap, actually, I, it really, this really doesn't because I can actually close itself here if you understand what I'm trying to say. So now, if I placed page four there, it's going to be a sub menu of page three if you understand what I'm trying to say. So, page three is actually a top page for page four. So now, let's do the URL, you know. I want it to give me suggestion so what so I usually do URL equals squiggle page four dot ASPX um, title 
equals page four description equals this is page four <coughs> so now that we have page four let's run our website let's see what our website looks like <coughs> right can you see that page four pops up automatically just on overing on page four it pops out uh, it's still not but anyway now you know how to create sub menus and um, page three and this is page four um, I'm actually I'm not gonna edit this video in a way I want you to see all the mistakes I make you know so it's very real so anyway um, I'm going to go now when I come back I am going to go through um, the um, the design of the menu so that your menu can be very beautiful so that you can do all this when you place your cursor like your call mouse over it it gives you different colors if you know what I mean so I'm going to go through that in the next video <laughs>